All right, we're here at Hershey Park. And we're looking at Wildcat again. And it seems what's going on now is they're really starting to dismantle the station. Um, they're, they're taking the siding off now. And there are a lot of red flags on the side now. Um, on the side of the structure. And what's interesting about it is I, they don't look scattered. The, um, they look like they're almost in a shape. So it looks like they've been working on that for a while now. Well, they've been working on it since uh, they closed. But one thing noticeably is they, they haven't been like, construction doesn't look like it's been trying to tear in or demolish the station completely. Uh, kind of looks like it's trying to be taken apart very carefully. Um, also the roof, the roof of the building, not the top of the roof, but the roof of the station inside has been uh, dismantled. Let's see if we can't get another uh, closer look down here. They're really starting to... really see. They're really starting to take like the top of the roof off now. But what's happening, yeah, they're they're dismantling the station. So I don't know if they're as I said, there's rumor they're going to build a new station. I don't know. They can do it. I'm just trying to figure out how um they're gonna how and where they would actually put a new station in this area. Um, yeah. As I said, this has been walled off. It's been walled off since uh, the first week that they closed, dismantled. All this, all this is going to be gone from what I'm wondering. This, what this looks like now is not going to be here. This was the entrance. That was the exit ramp. This is all going to be torn out, I think. If they're building what we think they're building for either next year or the year after in 24, or 23 or 24, it hasn't been announced yet. This is not going to be here. Because what they're building, and I'm not going to say until the official announcement, I will have details on that. This is way too small to funnel. This was built uh, when Wildcat opened in 96. It was only, of course, Hershey Park wasn't as big in 1996 as it is now. In the past almost oh, over 20 years, how the park has expanded. So it couldn't filter crowds like this anymore it just so this is all going to be torn out they've walled out the construction area as I said I think around Christmas time I'm not even going to be able to look in this part because they're going to have all this walled off <clears throat> now interestingly enough it looks like fencing I'm not half wondering if um, once Halloween season is over, this, this gate here, is going to block this area off here. Because I don't understand why they put gating up just around something like that. So, if that fence blocks this area off, we're not going to be able to walk in here either. Kosher truck, this will be gone. This kosher truck will be gone. Uh, easily moved, put into another place. What's this over here? Looks like now, partially, interestingly enough, that's 
that's over there. They are building to the haunt, which the tent is. It looks like they put lights up, so this is probably going to be part of a haunt right here. That too. This is not all for the new project. This is for the Halloween um, Dark Nights here at Hershey Park. Um, I can zoom in a little closer. Looks like they built a temporary entrance. Also, what I, I've been told that this tent here will have two separate haunts in it for the Dark Nights. Um, splitting the tent. This tent will not have one big haunt. It will be split into two different haunts. Uh, so there's been like a temporary entrance built on the one side. I believe the other side will be the front of the tent over there. So that's, I mean, that's what's going on with that. Uh, laugh track here. So the back people, I believe, will enter through here. Probably, uh, looks like lights have been set up here, probably for the haunt. So that's probably going to be like a queue line for something or something decorated for the haunt. Again, our, we are not expecting, honestly, really not expecting this tent to be here after Halloween. Um, <clears throat> we don't think that it's going to last until... This tent, honestly, should have been gone years ago. They never used it. They, I don't think they ever really used it for anything. So... But we shall see. We'll, uh, we'll see what that has. But yeah, this is... I have a bigger area here. I don't even think the... Well, the kosher food truck ain't even open today. And I think they might be closed for the season, honestly. <laughs> um... Yeah, they're not even open today. Now, mind you, this is Labor Day weekend today. So, after this weekend, they're only going down to weekend operations. So, I would think after tomorrow, which is Labor Day, this kosher food truck will be out of here. Uh, so, and once that happens, they'll probably have more of an opportunity to go back further in here and do some things for Wildcat. Uh, so it is it is starting to progress more especially after Labor Day, which is tomorrow uh, We're going to start seeing more and more things be done and especially after Halloween Once Candy Lane hits I don't even, as I said, we're not going to be able to even walk in this area um, Even uh, I wouldn't even be surprised if uh, Halloween in Hershey once that hits in two weeks that They won't even they won't even have this kosher food truck with that fencing, I don't even think you'll be able to even come back here. So I'm saying, I'm speculating. I'm not saying. I would almost speculate that this, once this is gone this weekend, you're not going to be able to walk back here at all. I, actually, I can guarantee you, probably, because of this. If this area is for the haunt, and the haunt, uh, the dark nights start in two weeks. Less than two weeks now. So once that happens, this area is not going to be um, able to get to people. People will not be in this little area here. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically what's been going on here. Uh, there is more. Keep you updated on this. But honestly, I think this will be the last time I'll be able to walk in this little area where this food vendor is. I honestly think after Labor Day, that's what this is, they're going to gate this part off uh, here to here. So you're not going to be able to walk in this area. So, yeah. So that's the update right now. So yeah, a lot going on. A lot happening for Halloween. And again, once they announce this and get it ready, once they announce it finally and have it ready and ready to go, um, uh, we'll, uh, we'll have more details on that.
But yeah. So from here on out, you're going to have a lot of updates on this, even through the winter. I will keep you updated on posted on updates. So, all right. 2023, here we come.